describe the difficulty when a team kind of throws seven, eight different arms at you, a lot of different arms to prepare for? And obviously you had some success tonight, but just as a team-wide approach, kind of getting a bunch of different looks from a bunch of different pitchers? Sure. Um, yeah, I mean, the, the Dodgers didn't announce who was starting till, till late. Uh, I think, you know, that's, that's definitely more difficult for us as hitters to try and game plan and stuff. Um, you know, seeing a different arm every at-bat is... Uh, a challenge as well. Uh, you just got to get in there and compete and do what you can. Um, yeah, I mean, tough game, so just competing. I mean, obviously, every every loss is tough, and when they kind of come against you know, teams you're chasing, teams you're trying to chase in the standings, I mean, what, what I guess is a sense of, obviously, displeasure, but where, where do you kind of feel like this team is at right now? Where, where do you guys sort of feel like it kind of needs to go right over these next few weeks to stay afloat and keep in this race? Yeah, I mean, we just got to piece some stuff together, uh, keep getting on base, base uh, keep playing defense right, um, you know, attacking the strike zone, just doing the little things right, um, you know, things that make us the Cardinals and why we're famous for being the Cardinals. Um, so, you know, it's just, uh, that's a good team over there. You know, they're playing good baseball, um, beat us twice now, so we got to come out with uh, a little fire under our butt tomorrow. That's it. How much pride do you take and have you taken this season being a better and more consistent on base? presence and you know hitting for average hitting for power just kind of really rounding out your game over the course of the season for sure yeah I think I'm learning the league a little bit just how you know pitchers think and stuff and just understanding where they attack the zone and we you know what their strengths are and stuff and um you know I'm just doing uh my due diligence to be able to counteract that and, and regimen my game plans and things so um you know I've done a done a decent job of that Thanks, Gary, Thanks, St. Louis Post Dispatch Tyler, when you are facing a situation like that where it's just going to be a parade of pitchers, kind of like what the Padres did in the playoffs, do you at all just say, all right, well, I'm not going to pay attention to the pitchers, I'll just focus on my approach? Or, or do you do a lot of scouting like as the game goes on on the iPads? Well, you know, our, our Jeff, Joe Bell, Packy, all these guys do such a great job of giving us all the information that we need. It's up to us to filter it. So, um, you know, I know what I what I need to, uh, getting up to the plate, understanding how I'm getting attacked too. Um you know, just keeping things simple for me is what works. And that's what I wondered is that maybe you just focus on yourself a little bit as opposed to us. I mean, yeah, it. like everyone's getting pitched different. So you got to you gotta understand what's going on, um, you know, in, in, in that regard, I guess. Um, you know, tough game. Coming into this stretch, and this will be my last question, thanks. But coming into this stretch, um, Mike Schilt had mentioned to us that this was a chance for you guys to kind of measure yourself against playoff teams. And, I know Milwaukee didn't go the way you want this series the way it is. I mean, do you, do you see some gap there between you guys that you have to close with the playoff teams? Well, those are two good ball teams. Uh, you know, obviously Milwaukee's leading the division for a reason. Dodgers are, are the Dodgers. Um, you know, we got to, I don't know. I don't know. We got to play better ball. That's it. You know, just got to be more complete. Thanks, Tyler. Thanks, guys.